How's it going everyone? Parth with Atlanta JDM here to show off another one of our imports and today we're looking at a 1997 Toyota Mark II. It's a Grande 2.5. I'll go over what that trim level entails in just a moment. Gonna do a quick lap though. Soak in how pretty this car is. It's pretty much a grandpa spec. Looks like it's been garage kept its whole life. It's got low mileage so it didn't really get a lot of drive time in Japan. It's all in all in really good condition. It is automatic, not a complete deal breaker. Shifts out really well, drives really well. I've been driving it nonstop actually. And I like it a lot. I can't drive my JZX90, so that'll be another YouTube video for another time though. This is the JZX100. They are legal as of this year, late 97. So last year a little bit. Some people got a little lucky. And it's pretty much what the JZX platform a lot of people have been waiting on. It's got a couple of differences as opposed to the 90 body style. Engine is the biggest thing. It went to a big single turbo as opposed to the twin turbo setup. And I'm sure there's a couple other things, but that's why you have the internet. You can look it up. Um, like I said, it is a Grande 2.5. So that means it's a non-turbo. It's a 1JZ GE. And again, it is automatic, which isn't the biggest deal breaker. This is actually not that, be a pretty good entry level JDM young enthusiast car, but I'm gonna go ahead and forewarn you, you're gonna have to really look into these parts and, cause this, there's not a lot, <clears throat> sorry, there's not a lot of cross-referencing parts that go to this car. There's some super parts from the Mark IV, but you're just gonna have to dive into the internet on that. So we'll go over the cosmetic blemishes. Obviously, first thing you can see up here, some of the paint fade, which is pretty typical. It's a 25 year old car. I did see the plastics right here. Well, let's see, this side was good. You can see how it's kind of coming off right here. This side is good. The other side, it's kind of peeling off. We'll go over there and take a look at it in a second. I wanna make sure I'm not missing anything water spots right here little chips little chip right here you see they looks like they tried to fix it Grande. same kind of fade on the rear Plastic coming up right here. See how it's kind of peeling off. And I swear there was a door ding on this side somewhere. Saw it earlier. Just take my word for it, there's a door ding somewhere. And there's a little bit of chipping right there. And Really the only other cosmetic blemish would be inside. There's a stain on the rear seat. I'll show you right now. A little stain right here. And that's pretty much, oh, there's a little tear on this seat over here. here. It's starting to come out, not even tear, just the foam's coming out. But the ashtray, never been used. Is this a couple of them? No, it's just the console. But you can see the back seat in really good condition, aside from that little stain. The tiers for the JZX platform, I guess, is the Chaser is the sportier version. The Mark II is the medium class Camry version. And the Cresta is like equivalent to an Avalon, the luxurious VIP status. Extra amenities that you didn't really need in the 90s, but it's kind of cool right now. And we'll go over some that this car has. So it's got power everything, power windows, mirrors, driver's seat, not sure about passenger. And you actually got the uh, side mirror defrosters too, which is pretty cool. Didn't know that was a thing back then. These are just aftermarket. Rip them out. If 
you don't like them. This is a Japanese um, GPS radio, so it's not going to work here. It does have a CD player as well. The GPS does talk to you and it shows you're driving in Japan, but you're actually not. A little cool Mark II cubby. Ashtray with the felt that's never been smoked in before. Uh, maybe once. A little ash right there. Maybe it's dust. And again, automatic. It's okay. Another cubby right here. You get the swing vent option. I'll show you that when I turn the car on in just a moment. Do we have the manual? Yes. No. This is for the radio. GPS, whatever. Cup holders. Bottom level. Oh, it's my wallet. And then top level. Let's see if I can turn this off. Awkwardly moving the camera up. My favorite part is other than it talking to you. The speedometer is a digital dash, and it's pretty cool. We had a Crown that had this, and I thought that was the coolest thing about this car. Very similar to the Crown, big body Toyota. That had a non-turbo 2J, this has a non-turbo 1J. AC's ice cold, heat works. Swing vent option if you can see it. If you want to hog all the air, then you just wait for it to come back and boom, it just stays. Big trunk space. Original mat. I'm pretty sure everything down here is original. Yeah. No rust. No water buildup, a little dirty. There was some, oh, there's a little coin, a smudge and some gunk though. We'll get that later. All original. Don't know if I said this, but no rust on the car. Should just go implied because we don't really buy cars with rust this is very very minor dzx 100 yeah, and that's uh one jz ge was correct i knew it was correct but just show you guys it's on the plate hot Ooh. and BBTI big, non-turbo. Turbo ones have the big turbo, not the twins. Clean engine bay though. Again, should go implied. My guys do a full service. All the fluids are good. They checked it out, tested it, made sure it was all right. They're not gonna sell me a bad car. Too fast, just quick little lap. Oh, a new 
new Tundra. It's just really smooth. There's nothing to say. I feel like I'm going to go to sleep until I press the brake. Then I feel like I'm getting a massage. But they will be changed soon. Shipping out of Japan is not fun and it takes forever. Shifts out really well though, there's no complaints. Feels good, it's really quiet. Very, very quiet. But it's smooth like butter. I forgot to mention that. And I forgot to mention the center caps on the wheel covers on this car. The wheel covers on this car look awesome. And it's just got the Mark II logo, so fast forward. Or not fast forward, we're on it. Yeah, this road is all janky too. It shows how long I haven't done drive around video. On two with brakes. That's a cop. So we are now going to slow down. I guess I'll just stop it right now. There's nothing much I can really say about the car. It's close to perfect. Got a bunch more on the way though. See y'all soon. Thanks for everything.